integration basics in main so we'll tap into main and here's the function that we want to integrate I'll just take a copy down to a new line and here we go so if we want to integrate this function select it interactive calculation integrate and uh, we'll just go as it is it's basically there's the expression the variable is x and say ok and uh, class pads um, integrated the expression there is an indefinite integral remember you will need to add plus c at the end of it now suppose we um, wanted to do a definite integral we could obviously pop into the template here the upper and lower bands and tap ok but using the interactive tool interactive calculate integrate we can tap onto the definite um, option and then it gives us a space to put in our upper and lower limits so let's pop in one and three for our limits and say OK uh, and then it's evaluated to be 22 in that instance some integrals you'll find or may notice not particularly polynomials but some with trig functions and especially when we're evaluating a definite integral can take quite a time to evaluate um, now we'll do it with this uh, let's take our original function again here um, and do it the same way interactive calculate integral and that's the third option as well as definite there's a numeric option where class will use numerical methods to evaluate the integral and this is a lot quicker than choosing the definite where it's going to try and come up with an exact value you can change the tolerance setting and reduce that down a bit if you're still taking a long time but generally this will take uh, an integral that might have taken 20 seconds on the handheld before would be done in a couple of seconds by choosing the uh, numeric option and we tap OK and you can see the format slightly different again here the way it's displayed using the lin linear mode here uh, but we obviously still get the 22 come up we can also use the template found on math 2 over here here's our integral template um, and we can set everything up um, the way it looks in a math textbook uh, we're not restricted obviously to using x as the variable we might have a function like um, t squared with respect to t and maybe from 1 to 2 or something like that uh, we tap execute uh, and we get um, an answer here obviously if we wanted it exactly it's a seven thirds